These really easy pasta dishes will work with any shape of pasta you've got in your store cupboard. Spaghetti puttanesca, spicy unduya pasta, and comforting cheesy pasta. I'm going to start by cooking my spaghetti in a large pan of rapidly boiling water and make sure it's got plenty of room to move. Now for the sauce, I'm just going to add a splash of oil to a large pan. Here I've got some thinly sliced garlic and next I'm going to add four fillets of anchovy, one of those classic combinations because they give that piquant salty flavour that you can't get from anything else. Just give those a little sizzle. Be careful because it splutters up quite a bit. But what you want the anchovies to do is almost sort of disintegrate into the oil. Next, a tablespoon of tomato puree. Just squeeze it straight in. You can see here I'm using entirely store cupboard ingredients. So this is a really great dish for midweek and it's all ready in the time it takes the pasta to cook. You can see now that the tomato puree is darkened. So I'm going to add in a can of chopped tomatoes. And I've got some Kalamata olives here. I've just broken them in half. In they go. Give that a good stir together. And then turn up the heat a little and pop the lid on. And then just leave it slightly ajar so that it can evaporate down a little. And we're going to bubble that for about five minutes until the pasta is ready. Now I'm just going to scoop some of the cooking water from the spaghetti. We might need to add that just to loosen the sauce later and then let's drain it. And then back into the pan. And the sauce is thickened and darkened. I'm going to tip that straight into the spaghetti. And just give that a really good stir together so the spaghetti is coated. We're going to add a tiny touch of salt. Good grinding of black pepper. And if you feel you need it, you could add a splash of the water just to loosen the mixture. I'm going to toss in a few of these basil leaves now. And I think we're ready to plate up. And then to finish that off, I'm going to add a few capers and a few more fresh basil leaves. And finally, a drizzle of olive oil. Indio paste is a spicy, spreadable salami from Calabria in the south of Italy. It's got loads of flavour, packed with fiery chilli and ground pork. In a pan, I heat a little bit of oil and start to warm the indio paste. To the pan, I'm going to add some halved cherry tomatoes. Let them cook in there with the andouille and that little bit of olive oil, just until they're soft. So once my tomatoes are nice and soft and I'm starting to get a little bit of sauce in the pan, I'm going to add my pasta. If you think that it could do with a little bit more, it never hurts to add an extra little spoon. So once my pasta is fully coated, I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to add some rocket. I like adding fresh leaves to my pasta because it balances out the kind of richness of everything else going on in there. From there, I'm ready to serve. I'm gonna shave a little bit of Parmesan on top because it wouldn't be a bowl of pasta without a bit of cheese on there. For the sauce for our pasta, I've got some ricotta in a bowl. To that, I'm gonna add some pine nuts I've toasted and roughly chopped, some crushed garlic, some finely grated Parmesan, the zest and juice of one lemon, I've got some lovely fresh oregano. I'm gonna put most of it in, but just keep a little bit back to garnish, and then a little bit more olive oil. Now to make our sauce really nice and creamy, I'm just gonna use a couple of ladlefuls of the pasta water. It's got a little bit of starch in there, which really helps. Now my spaghetti is ready to drain. Turn off the heat. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that water, just in case I need it to loosen up the sauce. And then return that to the pan. Now I've cooked some onions in olive oil for a really long time so they're really soft and sweet. Keep a little bit back and then the rest gets scooped into our pasta. And then just give that a really good stir together. If you need a little bit more of that cooking liquid, you can add it now. And then just give it a little touch of seasoning. And now we're all ready to serve. And then to finish off, a few of those onions over the top. A little sprinkle of toasted pine nuts for extra crunch. A little sprinkle of that oregano. A good grinding of black pepper. Really, really quick and easy. 